Hello and welcome to a day in my life. It's gonna be a partial day because it's already 1 p.m. But that's okay. This is my dog, Coda. Yeah, are you so sweet? Everyone loves you so much on the internet. I literally have so much to do today. It's unreal. We are leaving for vacation next week. And so I have to pre-film a whole week of content so that you guys have Instagram and TikTok content to watch. Um, so I'm cooking a week full of breakfast. So it's funny, it's 1 p.m. and I'm gonna cook breakfast. And then my parents are coming into town tomorrow. So I gotta clean up literally the entire house or staying with us for the weekend. The, my day is so busy. And then my husband's doing his finals. So <sighs> I'm gonna tell you the story mostly because I don't feel like doing any of the things I just listed right now. And I wanna hang out with you guys. I used to have a YouTube channel. It's actually the channel you're literally watching right now, but I like hid all the videos. They're so embarrassing. Um, I used to like do makeup <laughs> and like post makeup content. And um, it's just really funny how far I've come. Like I love makeup still, but I just can't, it was so much to keep up with and it costs so much money to like buy new foundations and test things out. And like, I was getting like <laughs> 10 views. Anyways, so you guys are officially part of my new YouTube family. I'm so excited. Uh, I need a snack. <laughs> Okay, you're not allowed to judge me for this snack. Um, it's literally cucumbers and cottage cheese. I don't know why, it just sounds so good. I don't know if when you were a kid you had cottage cheese, but for some reason growing up, I always had cottage cheese and pineapples. It is oddly so delicious. I don't see that many people talking about it and like maybe, maybe they are and I'm just like not in the know. When you truly think about it, it's like such a weird combination. I just don't know who first thought about like, oh yeah, I'm gonna take cottage cheese and I'm gonna put pineapple on it. So I think something that I really want to do on this YouTube channel is document my fertility journey. I think the hard part about like Instagram and TikTok are their short form videos. So you don't really get to know like the true like depth and feelings of what it's like to go through infertility and what it's like to have PCOS and like health issues and stuff. Um, I have a lot of thoughts about it in which I don't share on TikTok or Instagram. Snack is done. It looks beautiful. You want a treat? Go to your bed. You're so cute. So I think by the time I put this video out, I will have already announced that this medicated cycle obviously did not work for us. It's honestly a huge disappointment for those of you guys who haven't followed me before or are new here. My husband and I have been trying for a baby for the last little over two years. We didn't start doing any fertility treatments until a couple months ago. It was like a whirlwind. We tried to do fertility treatments like a year ago. We used to live in California and I got quoted like $3,000 for one medicated cycle. Like, like, like doing the deed at home, taking medications and being monitored. They quoted me $3,000 a month. And I was like, that's, that's, that's a mortgage payment. That is, that is something that um, we can't afford because <laughs> we're at the time paying California rent, California gas prices, California grocery prices. It was like so expensive to live in California. So of course their fertility specialists there cost a fortune. At that point I was like, I'm not going to a fertility specialist. Like at least not here, that's just way too expensive. So then I went back to my gynecologist and I was like, hey, can you just put me on some medication? Like, I think I'm just having trouble ovulating. So in order for my gynecologist to actually put us on the medication, she made us go through like a whole protocol. I had sperm checked, I had my blood work done, I had an internal ultrasound done, and I had to get an HSG done. And an HSG is where they go in with like liquid and they flush your tubes with iodine and then you see it on an x-ray. And then on the x-ray it shows if your tubes are blocked or not. Well, I had that procedure done and it was like the worst, most excruciating pain of my entire life, you guys. I am not joking you when I say I was like, this is worse than childbirth. It like has to be, and I've never gone through childbirth, so I'm sure childbirth is worse, but like I was traumatized by this experience. The reason why I was in so much pain was they were like, yeah, your right tube is blocked. It's completely blocked. So we're so sorry about this. They had like the worst bedside manner ever. But anyways, I walked away from that thinking that I had a blocked tube. So I went back to my gynecologist and she was like, yeah, I'm sorry, like we can't give you um, any medication, like you're high risk with your blocked tube, you need to see a fertility specialist. Well, at that point, 
we're not paying three thousand dollars to go see a fertility specialist so we kind of just like put it off and we're like okay well well we just keep trying naturally for the next year or so and then see what happens well we end up moving here to washington and um you know still had not had any success trying to have a baby and it's funny in my entire two years of um trying to have a baby i have not had a single positive pregnancy test like not not one um you'd think that like you would have one or something but um no i just don't think i was ovulating like ever although i did have one positive pregnancy test on a first response but i'm pretty sure that it was a false positive and those tests suck they show lines all the time that are not real and i've seen so many people you know like when you're trying to conceive and you're like looking on all these google forums every two seconds you're like reading through looking at pregnancy tests and like comparing them so i've looked at so many forums where people are like is this my positive and like literally it's just a false positive from from first response it's like an indent line but like it looks real it's just so shitty so we move out of california back to washington and at this point my husband is starting law school so we're like we don't really need to be going through fertility treatments yet so we waited a few months um and then we just started um fertility treatments last month the first month i did a round of letrozole ovulated on my own by accident um that's like a long story let me know if you want to hear that and that cycle was not successful and then just did our second cycle we upped my dose of letrozole and then i did a trigger shot and then they also put me on progesterone this cycle also has failed it's okay i understand not all you know medicated cycles work the first or second time like there are people that it does but for some people it's like like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten medicated cycles, or even switching to IVF before they can conceive their miracle baby. No. Either way, when a medicated cycle doesn't work, the thing that is supposed to like help make your chances higher, it still is disappointing. And um, when you've been trying for two years and you see your friends having babies and second babies and third babies, it's really difficult. Um, I have a lot to process through in which I'm so thankful for this YouTube channel. I'm just gonna spill my guts. Anyways, I'm gonna finish my snack. I just went on like a 10 minute rant. So right now I'm just prepping to film. I usually start filming a bit earlier than this, but I was hanging out with you guys. That is literally the only downside of doing food uh, videos for a living is the amount of dishes that I have to do. Every day I swear I do like 18 sets of dishes, so. I could be cooking absolutely nothing and she still would be right at my feet all the time. Hi, no thank you, get down. Okay, so I just finished making my first recipe of the day. This is one of my breakfast ideas that I'm going to be posting next week. Fun fact, um, this is gonna be my lunch today. A little behind the scenes moment for you guys. And just like that, meal number two is complete. I also did an outfit change, so I'm not wearing the same outfit for every single video I'm pre-filming today. Doesn't it look so good? This is absolutely insane. I now have to clean up all of this mess. All because I made those. Finally all clean. Wow, that is the most satisfying. Especially the candle. So right now it is the point in the day where I am going to edit all the videos that I filmed today. I filmed three. Um, I don't normally film three videos, but we're going on vacation next week. I think I already said that. Edit the photos I'm going to use for my website. And then I need to write out the recipes and the instructions and all of that stuff for those. I just launched my website last week. And so I have all my recipes that I've ever posted all in one place. And it makes my heart just so happy to know that that's like done and I can provide that for you guys to just like have archive of all of my favorite recipes just in one place. I'm, I'm so excited. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's all done with the instructions, what you need. I edited this photo. This is one of the things obviously you saw that I filmed today. And then um, once it's ready, I need to like make a pin for it and then like uh, connect to the Instagram because right now it's an old Instagram photo. And then I'll be able to post it and we'll be good. It's 5.30, I'm standing up because I was tired of sitting. Um, the last thing that I do every single day is I go through, this is my like little to-do list, check off all the things that I got done for the day and then I make a to-do list for the next day of all the things that I either didn't get done or I know I have to do. This is her giant crate <laughs> with a giant blanket over it. It is the least aesthetically pleasing thing that we have in our entire house, it's horrible. But one day when you grow out of it, Hopefully, oh my gosh, 
one day when she grows out of it, hopefully we can just get rid of it. Okay, I think I'm gonna call it a night. The sun is setting. I'm tired. I need to go shower, eat some dinner, hang out with you. Oh, that's so nice. If you made it this far, my first ever official YouTube video, thank you. Love you all and I'll see you in my next video. Is it just me or does this shirt make my eyes really blue? I think so. I think so. Look at that. My eyes are piercing.